my people, it's your buddy Tack. Today we're going to try out some new gun oil, grease, and a cleaner. So this is True Blue from Demon Tech. Let's see if that'll focus for you. Now that's the cleaner. This is the oil, and then we have some grease. Now I've used this stuff pretty much forever. You know, Remington Bore Cleaner and Hops Nine Oil, and it works pretty good. It's it's not bad. Uh, some of this stuff's pretty stinky. So I had a friend recommend this to me, so I thought I'd try it out. This is my first time checking it out. So this is the cleaner. I wonder if it has any. Wonder if it has any smell. Not really. Almost. Uh, maybe like a little bit detergenty, but not really. Yeah, it's a little spray bottle. Check out the paste. Whoa, goopy! Watch out now. I'm making a mess. Well, this way I can take a whiff and see what it smells like. Boy, I didn't smell nothing with that. Now here's the gun oil. See, I like that. That's I like the applicators. It's so much better than these friggin' things. They make such a mess. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger. I just want to see if it stinks. And I don't friggin' smell anything. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so let's test it out on something nasty. It's my old Sig Pro SB2340 and 357 Sig. I've had this for 21 years. And this is the one I always carry at home. As you can tell, look at the dust. Yeah, pretty disgusting. Tack, you shouldn't let your stuff get that bad. I know. So, hey, this is the perfect candidate to clean. So we'll just unload her because she's always loaded. See what it looks like inside. Yeah, pretty scummy. Well, even in there, you can see all the friggin' the lint and stuff. So, yeah, the, let's give this cleaner a try. Give you a shot of the inside first. Yeah, pretty dusty. Like I said, I carry this thing every day when I get home. I carry different stuff when I'm out and about. But like, if I'm cutting down trees, chainsaw, I get sawdust in this thing and everything else. Not sure how, how much to whale on this thing, but we'll just give it a good squirt. Now this is safe for polymer and everything. Rubber. Screw it, we'll just do the whole damn thing. What do you say? Yeah. And let me get another rag. Give it a quick wipe down. And I'm curious to see if this leaves a uh, film or anything. You know, I might have sprayed this thing too much, but hey, you know how your man is. He's not perfect. Let me get a Q-tip and I'm just going to go in there real quick. It looks like it's doing a pretty damn good job. And it's not really nasty on your hands. I'm not smart enough to wear gloves. But hey. That shined up pretty nice. Put a little bit on this. Now this isn't too dirty anyways. It's just dusty. So I clean it after every time I use it pretty much. So Even though there was a little bit of grit and stuff in there. It was mostly just dust. But yeah, she looks pretty good. And I've noticed it almost seems like... You don't really feel it much, and it feels like it evaporates. Like, you see how I sprayed my frame? I kind of went crazy with that. And you don't really see any residues. A tiny bit wet there, but I really, like, hosed it. You know what I'm saying? It seemed like it really broke down the, uh, the lint and stuff pretty well. Came out pretty good. Now that everything's wiped down and cleaned, got this grease. I'm not really sure... Whoa, man, I got to be careful with this. Where I want to put the grease, uh, I was told on like something that doesn't move around a lot and you want to keep the water off, so like the spring down there, and can't really see the other springs much, so we're just going to take a little, little dab. We're going to put it down there. Like so, maybe that was a little too much. Whoops. Just to keep the corrosion. 
the stuff off of it. So, yeah. Don't want to go crazy with it, just a little bit, just enough. Now, we'll do a little bit of oil. See how this applicator works. Oh, that seems to work pretty good. And you don't need a whole bunch, you know what I'm saying? Just in the fry, high friction areas. A little bit more, maybe. Let's take the slide. I like to put a little bit down here, too. Just because that's where it rides on the slide. Let's see how that goes. Now, supposedly, this stuff does really well in really cold weather. And the Flashpoint is better than a lot of the other oils. Yeah, it feels oily, but it doesn't feel like really tacky, you know, so it shouldn't attract too much stuff. We shall see, though. There we go. Seems pretty good. You know, it's really cold out and nasty out there, so I'm just going to put a thin layer over all the metal just to protect it and we're going to go out and test this thing. Just a thin coat just to protect it. Looks pretty now. I do like that little applicator that's handy getting in them little tight spots and it doesn't seem like you waste as much like you do with uh, these friggin lids. These things are a pain in the butt. But Alright let's put some bullets in this thing and let's give it a shot. So what I'm going to do to give this oil kind of a more thorough test. I'm gonna leave my gun locked up out in the shed for at least an hour. We'll leave it out here and that way it gets down to temp a little bit. Let it get cold and then we'll go shoot it. All right, I don't know if I can get this to focus. Uh, it's just under 20 degrees, 18 degrees, something like that. Okay, so it was sitting out for over an hour out in my shed. Sucks, I gotta take my gloves off to shoot. I'm not very good at shooting with gloves on, so my hands are already freaking cold. All right, let's see how this thing runs. I hope I don't fog up too much. That and I haven't shot in like a month. I'm trying to save ammo. Yeah, let's load it up again. Okay, we'll do one more mag. My hands are freaking freezing. And the only sucky thing is I reload and I'm not finding this brass in the snow. That stuff's gone. Oh well, what are you gonna do? All right. Wait for the target. Seems to work pretty well. I guess I'll head on back. The uh, one thing I didn't think of, I didn't leave myself with any bullets, and there's been a lot of koi dogs out here lately. Oh well, I guess I got a fancy club. So let's head on back, Tactical Castle. So that seemed to work pretty well. Probably the thing I like most about this, besides the little applicator and stuff, is no smell at all. This stuff right here, this hop, this freaking reeks and so does that other stuff crap i just got some on my hands but yeah i like how clean it is you know it doesn't stink and this this like i said it seemed like it almost evaporated like the overspray i didn't wipe up after a while but yeah it seems like some pretty decent stuff if you guys are interested in trying something new 
I'll put a link down in the description below where you can get yourself some. As always, good to see my people, and until the next time we meet.